Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sonali. Happy Daylight Savings Day. This is literally one of my favorite days, um, specifically the spring forward. I'm not a big fan of like the falling back because I just hate when it gets dark at five. I'm so excited to finally have my sunlight back at like seven and even later. Um, but I wanted to vlog. It's literally like 2 p.m. right now, but I wanted to just pick up my camera because we are gonna do some like house decorating kind of a thing. And I kind of wanted to just give like some updates on that. Like I said in one of my older vlogs, um, unfortunately one big huge vlog got deleted, which was like the vlog I talked about my job, like getting my job, negotiating my rate, my headboard and like how that all got like installed and stuff. So I was like so upset when I lost that vlog, but it's okay. We're gonna make up for it. I'm gonna kind of explain um, my headboard and stuff and then we're gonna get into a couple of other pieces that I literally just got last night from a Facebook Marketplace. I was gonna say Amazon, but no, Facebook Marketplace. This is what we have in our master bedroom, and I know it's not really that much, and it's literally been over like six months already, but we're slowly getting there. Um, so this um, little blanket kind of thing is from Target, and like it's not super soft, so I really wouldn't use it to like cuddle. It's nice to have it on the end of the bed because it like kind of gives a little bit of texture to the bed. And then these pillows are also from Target. Um, and then these are the nightstands I actually got from Facebook Marketplace last night. I got them both for $100 and I was literally about to spend like $300 on two. So I'm super excited about these, but I honestly did think they were a little bit lighter to match this. So I'm kind of sad that they are a little bit darker, but I thought that this part would like match pretty well with this. So they kind of like pair well with each other, but they're not like, you know, identical and like matchy matchy. Um, but yeah, I really like how this is kind of like that wicker style because it's super trendy right now. Um, and then this headboard, this headboard is actually custom made. We found someone here in Austin that did it for us and it wasn't super cheap, but honestly compared to other prices, it wasn't really that expensive, especially getting it custom. Um, and so this was a French clip headboard. So basically it doesn't have like stands that are touching the ground. There's like a wooden plank on the wall that he pretty much drilled into the wall. And then there's a wooden plank on the headboard so that it pretty much like matches up and you just like kind of click it in, which I thought was so cool. I love the herringbone design. I saw that on Pinterest and I like could not stop like thinking about it. So I had to get a headboard like that. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much our bedroom for now. Ryan has the same nightstand as me. So now they're finally matching. We literally just transferred our nightstands. This is my old one, and then this was his old one, and we literally just brought them both from like our apartments and our homes back in Georgia. So yeah, so excited to finally be like matching, and now the next step is to get some lamps. So I'm gonna have to like stock Facebook Marketplace or find something at Home Goods. So this room is a bit messy, so don't judge, but I wanted to show you a couple more things from Facebook Marketplace. Um, this I got, and I can't remember how much I paid, but not much at all. I actually got two of them, that one and then this one, and then I have this like cute little pompous grass right there. Um, and a little mirror right here. Hello, that's me. This chair I actually got from Facebook Marketplace. I swear I think I got it for like $35. This wasn't recent. This was probably like right when I moved into this apartment I found it. And then this mirror right here is a new addition. It basically has this like wood frame if you can see that it kind of matches like our light um aesthetics so that one is huge and we're gonna try to put it where this mirror is and like switch around my desk so we're gonna probably put my desk like on that wall and then put this mirror on this wall and then put that new mirror that i just got up here and maybe do a bar cart situation right here so we got ourselves a lot of work to do um and i just wanted to kind of vlog it to see like the new transformation but right now while you're watching this video do yourself a favor and check out facebook marketplace even if you're not really looking for anything specific i think it's so cool to just see like that someone else's trash could be someone else's treasure um and there are so many people moving every single day in your own city so I think it's definitely worth a shot to at least check it first. And if you need something specific, you can actually search. So I searched nightstands, but I didn't really find out anything that I loved. But last night I found one that like just got posted. I was like, hi, like I would like it. And then she was like, oh, sorry. Like someone's actually gonna meet me tomorrow morning. Like if they don't want it, like it's all yours. I told her I would pay her $20 more than she asked for. 
if I could have it tonight and like me be the first buyer and she said yes. I'm really glad I did that because even though the nightstands don't really match exactly, I'm still really glad that I found them. Another thing I got from Facebook Marketplace is this bowl and I was literally looking for a fruit bowl for so long and I guess this isn't really that big because these are grapefruit and these are like large grapefruit so it doesn't really hold like too much more than this but I think this is like a vibe I feel like but if I had apples and stuff but actually I Pretty sure I put my apples in the fridge, so that's fine. Um, look at these beautiful flowers. We went to Trader Joe's yesterday, and we try to go to Trader Joe's a lot to get flowers, but we haven't gone in a while. And tomorrow's the bachelor finale, so I wanted to get roses, and then Ryan picked out these. And the roses are just so pretty, and I'm so excited for the finale tomorrow. I feel like this turned into like a Facebook Marketplace haul. I did want to show you guys another thing that I got yesterday, and it's not from Facebook Marketplace. My dad gave me like a West Elm gift card for Christmas, and I actually ended up using it at William and Sonoma, or is it William Sonoma? I don't even know. First thing I got was a cheese board, um, and it is beautiful, stunning, and I feel like it was just like never something that I would actually spend with my own money, so I'm really glad that I got the cheese board with a gift card. And then I had some money left over on the gift card, so I got an air fryer, and this is actually the Instant Pot um, lid. This is actually just a lid that goes on the Instant Pot. So my sister actually gave me an Instant Pot, which is so nice of her as my housewarming gift. So I thought this would be really cool because I've just been hearing so many good things about air fryers. You can literally make like like crispy stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm excited to try it out. Um, don't really know what I'll be making just yet, but if you guys know any good recipes or like any of your favorite things that are good in an air fryer, please let me know down below. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm a bit chatty right now, but I did want to show you guys this cheese board I got from Williams Sonoma. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It has this like gold hardware, and then actually, I don't think it is even a cheese board. I think it is a what's it called a carving board I think that's what they called it like for you to put a turkey in here on Thanksgiving but I thought this is really cool like it has like a little indentation um and you could just put like like your brie cheese or like berries and I don't know I thought it was really cool so I like this cheese board we don't really use it all that often just because I feel like I don't want to ruin it and like you have to like clean it a certain way and I don't know it's kind of like annoying to clean but like tomorrow for my bachelor party I'm definitely going to be using the cheese board it's just so freaking beautiful so yeah that is um pretty much it yesterday we went to the Nespresso store because Ryan actually bought an espresso we have been kind of just like playing with it and he actually got the frother too and when I go to Starbucks, I actually order a ice white mocha with salted cold foam. So it's like perfect that they had the frother with the kit because now I get to make my salted cold foam at home, which is obviously like Starbucks tastes better because it's just like Starbucks, but it's fun to like kind of play around with it. So I feel like I updated you guys enough of like this stuff I bought over the weekend, um, but I'm just really excited about all these good deals that I've been finding. Like Facebook Marketplace is so nice because I feel like offer up and let go, like those are great too, but I feel like it's more legit on Facebook Marketplace because you can see their profiles and if they're sketchy because like even last night the um, guy I picked up the bowl from, he literally had a mutual friend with me um, and like not an Austin friend either. Like I knew this guy from like my college back in Florida. So I thought that was like super cool because I was like, oh, okay, like, you know, he knows someone I know. So that's what's been up and... Oh yeah, South by Southwest got canceled. Let's talk about that for a second because I am really just like sad about it, honestly. I understand the health concerns about coronavirus. I'm just really bummed about it because it was gonna be my first South by Southwest and like I've just always heard so many good things and I actually got invited to really cool events like blogger events, like Bloggers Who Brunch that's in LA. And then like there was a Create and Cultivate one and like a Bumble one and I was just like so, freaking excited to like go to those because I feel like those are just like so LA things you know but I mean they're all pretty much canceled now um I think the news recently broke out this past Friday so I think I'll probably be getting all the emails about the cancellation this coming Monday which is gonna really just suck also um if you guys didn't know I am a freelance photographer and videographer um as my side job I do have a real job now I literally just got hired but I was going to go shoot some events for South by Southwest and now all of those events are canceled. So 
they gave me like a deposit so i'll probably have to give that back i'm guessing i was gonna make some extra cash and be able to go in and you know see it all in action i think the biggest thing for me is that it was gonna be my first one and i was just really excited to, to like go and like find out what it really is but i know that the city of austin is literally losing I want to say like 300 million dollars from not having south by southwest not only that but small businesses photographers videographers like they were all looking forward to this conference because they were gonna you know have so much business during these times but all of it just got canceled in the matter of like an hour and it was just literally insane i follow so many photographers on my um photo account and they were all just like really just <laughs> like speechless by it because this is a really busy time for them. I wasn't even going to shoot that many events, but the few events that I did get asked to shoot at, I was like really excited about. Um, but thank God I finally got a job because if I didn't have a job and I didn't have a stable paycheck, I know this would have definitely hit me a lot harder than it did. Um, but I know so many photographers that that's their only job is freelancing. So. So I just wanted to kind of bring that up for all of you guys who are not in Austin and don't know that that happened. But yeah, so that is pretty much all the updates that I have. I just called Laura for her advice and she, she said, she was like, yeah, no girl. So we're gonna put this back. She said a bar cart like over here would be good. So the big mirror right here would be good. So we're just gonna move this back. Then you wanted to lighten up the place, you put the mirror up there and then the light would hit it and shine light everywhere in the house. Really? <laughs> Should we do that then? But then it's not gonna be in use. I changed into sweats because those pants are pretty like stretchy and comfortable. I'll actually link them down below because I'm getting a lot of Instagram DMs. I'm 5'3 and a lot of people are just saying that they have trouble finding like um flared jeans that fit them because they're short so they fit me pretty well i'm 5'3 like i said um and i just want to show you guys i think i did something look at this this is my ring light and this is my mirror and i literally just put it behind the mirror and it's like such good light i'm hyped i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's turned off I just have to like reach behind oh <laughs> it's a big difference Hey y'all, it is March 14th and I just wanted to kind of add more content to this vlog because I feel like it's probably one of the shorter ones. Today we're expecting it to be the first day of like rainy like two weeks or something. So I'm so happy it's not raining out today. I want to like do something outside and like take advantage but it's getting so hot so fast and like I forgot what 100 degree weather feels like because if you guys didn't know it literally is like consistently 100 degrees in the summer here in Austin, Texas which is actually insane. I went to college in Orlando. It was really huge human there it was always hot there and I thought that was like extreme but this is like this is like a whole different like level and I'm just like not ready for it because I'm already sweating in like 80 degree weather we're just gonna have to push through the summer but I'm really excited for summer I just want to like go swimming honestly I feel like I just love doing like anything water related last night I randomly wanted to make TikToks and like I downloaded the app and I like got a username and stuff a while ago just to like secure my username um and I haven't made any videos on it I didn't really go on the app either unless like somebody sent me a TikTok and it would like open the app but I wouldn't really scroll but now I'm like all of a sudden obsessed with it and I literally don't know why it like happened so randomly last night i was trying to learn like one of the dances and it's actually so hard like i feel like i'm not a bad dancer but last night may have proved me wrong um yeah it was pretty hard but i made some cute little tiktoks today so if you guys want to go follow me on tiktok if you'll have tiktok then you can follow me here it is just so underscore gnarly without the g y'all i literally went viral the first night i started making videos so definitely go follow me on tiktok if you guys do follow me definitely make sure to let me know that you guys came from my youtube channel on one of my tiktoks um just like my instagram name one of the big reasons why i didn't want to get a tiktok when it first became famous was that i felt like it was just another platform that i had to create content on and i do really well at creating the content on youtube and instagram but i feel like i'm really bad at posting consistently it's definitely something i struggle with so i felt like i needed to like focus my energy on the platforms that i already have so that's why i didn't really want to get it at first but now i just i don't know i randomly wanted to get it so 
here I am. Go follow me if you guys want. I'll have a link down below. Just look at TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. you. What are your receipts in your hair? Receipts? What? Ew. I went through the clips and I wanted to give you just an overview of like what we decided. So the desk is staying where it is. As you can see, there's no mirror there. That stays the same. So pretty much the only thing that's different is this room. So we kind of decorated the shelves over here. Those are just behind me in that corner right there. Um, and then we bought my boots out for this nightstand thing. We got my guitar. I think it's just super cute. In this corner, there are some hats over here. There's like a, a little dangly thing, some more dangly things. I want more hats to wear slash I also want better hats for this decor thing. So I need to order that um, and then fill up the space a little more because I feel like it's like random, like there's a random space right there. And then we ended up just putting the mirror here. Don't mind my tripods and everything. This is like my TikTok space, <laughs> but this is where we put that mirror. And I think it looks really good because then if I ever like film on this bed, I can kind of see myself in the mirror. So that's going to be really helpful. Hey y'all, it is the next day, it is Sunday, and it is still really gloomy here in Austin. We literally left our house for like 30 minutes yesterday, and then same again today, I just need to go drop off my Rent the Runway stuff. I don't think I mentioned this in a vlog, but I am trying the unlimited Rent the Runway for like a month. We'll see if it's like justifiable to keep doing it. So far, I really like it. I'm getting to try out just like really nice quality clothes and really great brands. So it's exciting for me, especially like getting the packages. I try to get two shipments per week just to try to make it as worth it as possible. Um, but if you guys wanted me to do like a Rent the Runway video, like outfits of the week or how Rent the Runway Unlimited works, comment down below if that is something you're interested in. I did want to close out this vlog and I will definitely keep updating you guys as I get more decor and as I decorate my apartment. Um, it's definitely not finished and that's why I don't want to give like a full apartment tour. Um, but hopefully soon. And I'm honestly not even sure if we're like staying in this apartment or what. Um, I don't think the rent increased because they already like told us we have by April 4th to decide and tell them like if we're staying here. Um, so that's not a lot of time, especially with this coronavirus stuff happening. Like I feel like it's going to be hard to tour other places. Um, so I wonder if there's going to be like an extension on that because of this. But I really like our place. I think the only thing would be that I want to live a little bit closer downtown. Um, so we are just going to like check it out. And maybe I'll like film some more apartment tour hunting things because I know that one got like a lot of views because so many people are moving to Austin. So um, I'm glad that was helpful for them. So as always, I'll keep you all updated. Um, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. You can see a lot more daily updates there. So I will see you all in my next vlog. Bye.